Here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheel. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, bet your life's eraser, you'll see it through. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go! He's up and flying as he guns a car around the track. He's jamming down the pedal like he's never coming back. Adventure's waiting just ahead! Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go! of my country are closed, gentlemen. We do not want visitors interrupting our peaceful way of life. No country can keep its borders closed to the League of Countries. You may be building secret weapons. He's right. He's wrong. He's right. We do not trust any of you. You may destroy our ancient civilization, and it's the people of Capitapec who invented civilization. We know that. That's why we wonder just what you're up to now. Right. Venosi, what have you got to hide? We have nothing to hide, but we don't want strangers in our land. Chief Suma, I order you to open the borders of your land, Kapetapek. We are a proud people, and we will not do as you ask. Do you have a man in your country who's braver than the rest? We do. Who is he? The world's greatest car racer, Kabbalah. What? I propose a race between your Kabbalah and a young man we will put behind the wheel of a car. If Kabbalah wins, you may keep your borders closed. If our racer wins, you must allow people to visit your country. All right. But Kabbalah will win, and we will keep our borders closed forever to the world. Wait. You will see how easily Kabbalah wins against whoever races against him. <laughs> What's up? Anything wrong? You got an airmail letter. Hey, it's from the country of Capetapec. Huh? It invites me to go to Capetapec during their fire festival and race against their best racer, a man named Kabbalah. Only if I win, <laughs> will their borders be open to the world. What a fabulous invitation, Speed. I know it's going to be a thrilling race. And Capetapec must be a fascinating country to see. And you've never raced against this man named Kabbalah. Hmm. A race during their fire festival sounds romantic. It sounds like fun to me. I'm sorry, Spreadle, but you'll have to stay home. That's an order. That's what you say. I'll ask Speed. Take me with you. Sorry. Oh. I have a feeling there may be trouble in Capetapec. Trouble? What do you mean, Speed? I, I suspect that Capetapec doesn't have a race course to race on. You're right, Speed. They don't have one. And the letter mentioned a race, but it didn't say where or how. There's something else that seems very strange to me. Kabbalah, the driver I'm to race against, has been missing for a long time. That is peculiar, Speed. And there's something else. I feel that something bad will happen. Huh? What makes you feel that way, Speed? Well, bad things happen, I heard, whenever this Kabbalah is entered in a race. For instance, there was the Grand Flora and Fauna Handicap in One Buck Two.
<laughs> Was that crash caused accidentally or not? We'll never know. In South America, there was another race along the Amazon River in which the fiercest fish in the world, the piranhas, live. There were other races, too, with mysterious crashes. And everybody is convinced that those crashes were caused by the racer named Kabbalah. You'll have to be extra careful when you race against him in Kapetapak. Don't worry, Trixie, I will be. And what's more, I'm going to beat him. That's a spirit speed. And so Speed wings his way toward the strangest race of his career. Naughty, you stole the board again. Just what are we supposed to do with you, Spritel? Give me a skank. I deserve it. This is the airport at Capetepec. It is seldom used because the country's borders are closed to the outside world. But today is a special day, and special visitors are allowed in so they may participate in the fire festival race. The race against the world-renowned and mysterious driver named Kabbalah. All the famous drivers are here today, ready for the race. Uh, look, there's Street Martin talking to Jim Charger and Guts Buster. It's going to be a very exciting race with all of them. Oh. Look who it is. Racer, action mask racer. So you're here, huh? I didn't know that you were invited to be in the race. Well, I was, Speed, and I'm looking forward to it. Just look at the tough competition we're going to be against. I'm looking forward to racing against a driver named Kabbalah. So am I, Speed, and I think I can win. But I warn you, you won't have a chance of beating him. Well, I'm going to try my best to beat him. I will too, Speed, but I hear that the course will be very tricky. Late that night, the Capetta Peckins hold a weird ceremony. will become the bridegroom of my granddaughter, Princess Silvana. Oh. But, Grandfather, I never promised I would marry the winner. Uh, the driver I would like you to marry is that one. Oh. He looks as if he might be the bravest man in the race, and if he is, then he's the right one for my granddaughter. But suppose he doesn't want to marry her. I'd be glad to be her bridegroom. Will you be able to beat Kabbalah tomorrow? Kabbalah? He's going to race. Kabbalah will race and win. Nobody is going to be able to beat him. Hmm. You're positive Kabbalah will be in it. Huh? Of course I am. But it doesn't make sense to me. Kabbalah disappeared years ago, and nobody has seen him or knows what happened to him. He might not be alive. Racers, let me inform you about Kabbalah of Kapetepec, the bravest, fastest, and most skillful driver in the world. This is Kabbalah's home, and over on that wall are pictures of the racers he has beaten. Those skulls in the upper right corners denote that those racers never were able to race again. A rogue's gallery of defeat. Soon these pictures will have skulls in the corners. <laughs> we 
Where is the treasure? I've got that to pack hidden. All of my country's wealth. That's right. I want to know where that treasure is kept hidden. It's kept secret even from me. Is that so? Stop lying, Silvana. I want that treasure, and I'll stop at nothing till I get it. I'm not lying about it. Grandfather wants to keep our borders closed against men like you. Tell me where the treasure is, or you'd be sorry. Let go. You'll be sorry you did that. Petapecan Mountains go the racers who soon will compete in the Fire Festival race. I was really scared for a minute. I thought there were ghosts out on the water. Gentlemen, the rats will bring your cars downstream. lying over there on the bank. They're the bones of men who tried to get into our country and failed. My grandfather leaves them there as a warning to others. This place is a dead end. It's impossible to race here. Was everyone brought here to race or explore? This is the secret entrance to the most beautiful and interesting part of our country. Very few people have ever seen it. Why do you keep it locked up? My grandfather doesn't want strangers ruining it. They could spoil it forever. Well, we're strangers. Aren't you afraid of us? Speed isn't a stranger. Oh, but we're strangers, right? Well, I don't think we're going to destroy anything. 
What's Trixie angry about? Search me. Oh, you wouldn't understand. The tribes of Kapetapet lived here. Looks like a fairy tale city. If only those ruins could talk, what a story they might tell. Well, what do you think of it, hmm? The whole world should see this marvelous city. Is that so? You haven't given up yet, eh? Ah! That eye is worth a fortune. The rest of the treasure must be nearby. When I find it, I'll be a very rich man. I hope you'll win the race tomorrow. That way you'll prove to my grandfather there's somebody in the outside world who's braver than Kabbalah. I'll do my best to win, Silvana, but I don't even know when the race is scheduled to begin. Look over at the volcano. When it erupts, the fire festival starts, and the race will begin. When it erupts, huh? Yes. for the race to begin, the race to decide whether or not my country's borders will be open to the world. Once every hundred years, a volcanic tunnel is opened underground, and today it should open. The race will be through this volcanic tunnel and will end at Mount Rumble. Whatever man makes it through this terrible tunnel will be acclaimed the bravest man in the world, and he will marry my granddaughter. The volcanic tunnel is 800 miles long. If you do not reach the exit within five hours, it will close and you will be trapped forever. That really means it's going to be a race for life. It also means that to win, the average speed of the Mach 5 will have to be over 160 miles an hour. <gasps> If you do, you will pay with your life. He wouldn't say that unless the treasure is hidden somewhere along the course. That's all I need to know. <laughs> you cowards, all of you! Kabbalah of Kapetepec would not be frightened as you are! By the way, I notice Kabbalah hasn't shown up yet. I wonder where he can be. He will get here. He will join the race. <laughs> we will see about that. to average 160 miles an hour in order to get out of the tunnel before it closes for another hundred years. Get ready. Go, Speed, go! 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 
Why don't you give up, Chief? Kabbalah isn't going to make it. The volcano will erupt once again, and before it does, Kabbalah will come. Look at those cowards! They are quitting the race even before it starts. Could it be that Kabbalah is even too afraid to show up? going to win. Nobody can beat Kabbalah. Nobody in the world. I can't believe it. That's him, all right. When the mountain erupts this time, our triumphant race will begin. <laughs> in time, or will he be sealed in the volcanic tunnel forever? See the next exciting episode. Racer, go speed racer, go speed racer.